163,000 of you guys are hopping on. This is nuts. Uh, <gasps> yes, on Discord. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Pokey. I am so nervous, though. I really, really, really hope that I don't get imposter first. Knowing my luck, that's exactly what's going to happen, but we'll see. Is there a way to mute yourself? <gasps> <gasps> uh, yes, on Discord, um, near the bottom, next to your name, this little microphone, uh, icon, no. you can't click it, and, you can't, and it will mute you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I knew it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I'm so scared. What do I do? I can't kill Pokey. She's so nice. I can't do that. Okay, I think I have to do it. Can we do <gasps> <thing>? <laughs> Sorry, Pokey. It was an honor. Everyone here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't even imagine. Imagine showing up to the doctor and just saying you need help and getting it without having to take out your credit card or anything like that. I mean, it's, I, I think one of the reasons why it's so politically difficult here in the United States to advocate for a system like that is because people just don't even believe it's possible. Like, I mean, you can hear, you hear people talk in that manner all the time where people are like, oh, like, what do you want, little girl, you know, to, to give people health care and then they don't have to pay thousands of dollars for it? What kind of silly fantasy land do you live in? I think it's Ohan. Because the doors were no, locked. No, I think it's Alex. I was no, no. Because the doors, you I was trying. All the doors, and no. then opened one of them. Uh uh. Uh 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 uh. I thought you were gonna kill me. Uh uh uh. Oh. Hmm. Uh -uh. I'm telling you, it is Alex. Bodies and Adam is prolific. I'm trying to be more observant. Okay. <gasps> After everything we've been through. <sighs> it's so important that each and every one of us turns out to vote and if you know if you can't vote ask your family ask your parents ask your cousins ask everyone you know that can vote what their voting plan is and that's a really great way to make sure that you get people to vote instead of asking are you gonna vote um, ask people what's your voting plan and so if between now and November 3rd which is right around the corner if in the next 10 12 days you can just make a habit of asking as many people as you can, what's your plan to vote and, or what's your voting plan? It really helps people figure that out on themselves. And then they ask themselves, well, what is my voting plan? Am I voting early? Am I voting day of? If you need help figuring out your voting plan, go to IWillVote.com. And the facts are, 
I'm just as protected as you are wearing that mask of COVID-19. COVID-19 passes right through that mask. Isn't that correct? No, 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 it isn't. No. No. Yes. Is absolutely the. No. Okay, no, no public comment. So, Mr. Chair, I sure will learn not to ask rhetorical questions to the crowd. <laughs> I apologize, but, but but basically, a virus it doesn't it goes right through, it goes right through the mask, and so for us to start mandating something that that doesn't work that doesn't make sense. And as far as the the people, the people, okay, here's how it goes. Once again, if you behave yourselves, you can stay in the room. You're welcome to, but if you don't, you're going to be asked to leave. And if you don't leave, then the police will escort you out. Is that clear? The masks are not effective with the virus, period. That's proven. The coronavirus passes through. And so it's false to tell people that they're gonna be safe by wearing that. And as far as sitting six feet apart, it's liberty. If you don't wanna sit, ne sit next to each other, then you don't have to. You can go someplace else or watch it on TV or on the internet. So thank you very much. The number of positive cases that we have in our community is the highest it's probably ever been. We have a higher positivity rate that is a concern. We are seeing higher hospital admissions and a higher number of deaths across the state. It's not something to fool around with. Mr. Chair, just a couple things. So at the beginning, remember it was facts, not fear. And the facts are I'm just as protected as you are wearing that mask of COVID-19. COVID-19 passes right through that mask. Isn't that correct? No, no, no it isn't. No. So even if you believe a mask mandate might lower the cases of COVID, if you believe that, I still want you to consider what a mask mandate will do. You will put people in jail. You will increase interactions. You will uh, make the police do things to the citizens that are otherwise lawful that you would never want to have done to you. Consider these things before you just start saying a mandate will fix the problem. There are other problems that will happen. The enforcement is not, it's not so much actually having police enforce something, it is the threat of enforcement that will get people to actually, and there's going to be a certain portion of the population that's never going to wear masks. I, I agree fully with that. But there's a portion that aren't taking this quite seriously enough. And what this would do is say, this is serious. Who's to play bankruptcy is hand? 
standing out of Chambercrease Sick of that hotel bill, bingo's always in the till Calvin Maude, John Kelly, separating family It's E. DeVos, bring drinks, Scott Pruitt, John McCain James Mattis, Bronx, cheer, Obamacare, still here Dan Coates, Michael Flynn, felon, pardon, king of sin Proud boys, gay fear, feeling like the end is near Now he's got the corona Was it too much to ask for you to wear a mask? Now he flaunts that virus Chloroquine injected, still he got infected John Brennan, Mike Pence, Russian interference Hot air, huge pair, Kim Jong-un in love affair Sermon, Berman, Epstein, Lord Senate seat, and I can't handle one more tweet. Damn deplorable liar. We're running out of time. Our country's on the line. Democracy is dying. No one seems to care about a liar lying. Lying and lying and lying and lying and lying and lying and lying. Okay, guys, I'm going over here and get my judge. I got my grown folks hair on. I got my uh, savage clothes on. I'm ready for this damn heat. And I'm ready for these people. Because I'm going to vote. And ain't going to stop me. Not this sun. Not this heat. And y'all need to go on on and get y'all judge and get y'all vote on. Because let me show you. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to get my damn judge. They could stand out there for 15 hours. I got my chair. They could stand out there for 24 hours. I got my snacks. I ain't going to play with these hoes. I'm going to vote. And I said, you go vote too. everybody to be prepared for those long lines you know you see them on tv and, and how could you not be prepared especially for somebody i'm a senior and i have bad knees i wasn't gonna be able to do it <laughs> i had to be prepared i love that you had on your grown folks hair though that was <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> listen i've been telling people that they have to prepare like they're going to a tailgate so you went and you prepared to wait a long line how long did you end up waiting I actually only waited an hour and a half, and oh, I was surprised because when I drove by there earlier, the line was around the corner, around the bend, up the street. But by the time I came back with my chair and my snack, it had closed in a little bit, but I was still sitting there with my chair and my snack. <laughs> I love you so much. It's amazing. You really want seniors <laughs> to get out and vote in this election. Why is it so important, and how do you tell them to prepare for it? I want everybody to get out and vote, especially my seniors, because my seniors might think just because the lines are long, they're not going to be able to stand out there. And, and they're not going to want to stand out there, especially if they're full of arthritis like myself. <laughs> so I want them to get that chair, get their snacks, because some of them might be diabetic, you know, and, and, and I had an umbrella too. So when the sun shifted on one side, I shifted to the other side. You made it I'm an ready. event. Right? Like it, it, you made it fun or interesting and rather than just standing in line. Perfect. Very, very, very smart. And you're volunteering to drive people to the polls, I understand. Oh, yeah. If they call me, I'm going to take them. We're going to go pick some cans up, but I'm take we got to get some gas money. The issues that motivated you to, to go, to vote? Well, what motivated, me, uh, what motivated me was the fact that somebody talking about taking my social security away 
and they talking about taking my health care away. And I just can't see that happening. And I'm, I, I'm ready for somebody to get in the White House with compassion and a sense of humor, uh, with respect for other people's feelings and their well-being. And I'm, I'm just fed up with it. So I need everybody to get out and vote. If you won't change for the better, get out and vote. Because there aren't many effective therapies against the, co the coronavirus, my antiviral will hopefully help the world and save a lot of lives. So what I did was I targeted a protein on the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which was the spike protein. And using a database of about 698 million compounds, I selectively narrowed down to one lead compound that can potentially inhibit this protein and stop the virus from infecting host cells. I came across the in silico methodology. And after more extensive research, I combined my knowledge of the in silico methods and the influenza virus to create a novel antiviral drug. And then the COVID-19 pandemic arose and I had never imagined that I would actually like live in a pandemic. Because of the severity of the situation and the absolute gravity and need for more effective antivirals to combat the COVID-19 pandemic, I decided to change routes on my project and target the SARS-CoV-2 virus. It's not only like just helping the world, but the research is so interesting and I just really like have a passion for learning about all these new things and just getting to help the world and seeing that how much impact it can make just makes everything so much better.